Hello everyone, welcome to Search Analysis. My name is Dr. Kamran. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use powerful AI tool of Answer This Data Year to make your academic writing and literature review process faster and even smarter. Whether you are writing a thesis, you are working on a research article, or even if you are writing a research assignment, this tool can be very helpful to find out research gaps, to find out relevant content, summarize key points, and even to generate academic style text, all based on real research articles. You can access answer this by using this web address answerthis.io. Alternatively, you can also Google answer this and search and you will have this first website answerthis.io. If you are using it for the first time, you need to sign up by clicking this sign up option. And here you can sign up by using your credentials, including your name and email address. Alternatively, you can also sign in by using your Google account. Once you will log in, so you will have this interface. And here you can see a bunch of options, including literature review, guides, AI writer, library, search, projects, citation map, diagram. And in the end, you can see uh, the recent queries and as well as chat with papers. If you have recently started using answerthis.io, then I would suggest to start with guide. In the guides, you can find out the guideline regarding all the features of answerthis.io and as well as the related tutorials. Although there are many features of answerthis.io, but in this video, my focus would be on using answerthis.io for finding the research gaps and for writing literature reviews. Let's start with finding research gap related to a specific topic. As nowadays, I'm exploring green HRM. So let's just write. Find me research gaps related to the topic of green human resource management. By the way, whenever you are using answerthis.io, you do not need to remember complicated prompts rather than you can simply write in your own words. From the search bar, I have selected literature review and here we can find more filters. From the search bar, I have selected literature review and on the right side, you can see more filters. Let's just simply select more filters. And here we have options answer type. Let's just select structure literature view. And in minimum citation, let's just select 15 minimum citations. And uh, to more turbo mode provide faster results, but may reduce comprehensiveness. Of course, while finding research gap, we need more comprehensiveness. So let's just unselect turbo mode. From here, search papers, uh, let us select research papers because it is better to find out research gap based on research articles. From databases, let's just select all given databases. And next, there is no need to select web sources or other sources because it's not a good idea to find out research gaps based on web searches. In terms of quality, let's just select from Q1 to Q4, all category journals. Next filter is publication date. Let's just select the articles from last five years. Let's just select 2020 to today. Here I want to clarify, it's not a rule of thumb that you always consider only those articles for finding research gaps, those who are published in last five years. But you can focus on older articles as well. If you feel there are certain gaps, still those who are still not addressed, then you can take them as a starting point for your research. But it's a normal practice that uh, normally professors and supervisors recommend to focus on those articles that are published recently for finding such gaps. Next filter is double check citations. Of course, we will enable this double check citations. Then we will submit this search. Now it will take around two minutes to make the thing ready for us. See, answer this has provided us the detailed overview about the search gaps related to green humor source management. Here is the details. You can see the lack of quantitative studies linking green HRM to tangible outcomes. And then they have provided the relevant references. And in the same way, you can also see the limited understanding of mechanisms underlying green HRM's impact. Here you can see they have mentioned the need for studies exploring mediating factors. And here they have provided the relevant details and as well as the relevant citations. They have also talked about needs for the studies exploring moderating factors. And in the same way, they have provided the relevant details and as well as the relevant citations. Then they have provided some other research gaps like role of technology for green recruitment and selection and role of technology for green training and development, relevant citations, and some other research gaps. And at the end, they have provided the bibliography. 
where you can see the details of all the references. Now as a researcher, it is very important for you to read all cited articles before using them as a foundation for your study. If you want to see the further details regarding all the given citations, you can simply click and it will take you to that particular article. If you want to further explore any of these given citations, you can simply click it and it will take you to that particular article. In fact, all used citations are given on the right side of this review. If you find those articles interesting, you can save them to your library. See, it has successfully saved to your library. In the same way, you can save other papers to your library. Here you can see some other details, including whether the PDF is available or not, including the number of citations. Here you can see PDF is available for this article and for next article, PDF is not available. For those articles for which PDF is available, you can chat with those papers. For example, just simply click chat with paper. Here we can chat with this paper by writing, for example, let's just ask what are major findings of this paper. See, it has provided us the detailed answer to our question. Now let's open the library. Here you can see all those articles that you have saved. For few articles, PDF is available and for others, PDF is not available. For those articles for which PDF is not available, you can add them manually by clicking this edit option. And from here, you can simply choose your PDF file. If you need to present these articles in the form of fact sheet to your supervisor, you can simply click this extract data and from here you can select any of these columns. For example, if I am interested to only present key findings, I can only select this key findings and add column. But if I want to add more columns, I can select again extract data and now I can add limitations. So now you can see these two columns has been added. Once the required columns has been added, I can see my fact sheet by using this table view and this is the fact sheet i can also extract this fact sheet by using this export export to csv file or i can also export to pip text i remember my time when i was doing my master degree and our professor used to give us such assignments of fact sheet but now you can create such fact sheets just in clicks now let's move on to writing literature review here you can see the option of literature review simply click it and here we will need to write the search question. We have finalized this research question. How does green human resource management influence employee engagement? And to what extent is this relationship mediated by organizational identification? Here we need to select literature review and from more filters, answer type, just select structured literature review. And in terms of minimum citation, let's select maximum. For writing literature review, it is okay to move on with turbo mode. So that's why we have enabled turbo mode. There is no need to make any other changes in other options. And just simply select this double check citations and just submit search. Now we will need to wait for around two minutes. This is amazing answer. This dot IO has provided us the detailed literature review on regarding our research questions. First of all, let's focus on the impact of green HRM and employee engagement, and then it covers the mediating role of organizational identification. At the start, I have a research question. There's only uh, the impact of green HRM on employee engagement, but later on, I have added the mediating role of organizational identification as well just to see whether answer this dot io will able to cover it or not but amazingly it has uh, provided us not only the literature review but also the relevant reasoning and the amazing part of this literature review is the reasoning which you can add in your research article and while introducing your topic here you can see it not only provided us the relevant reasoning but also has provided us the relevant citation and amazing thing is it has also provided us the theories that could support our relationships. And as expert of OB, I know that these are the three theories that could be best fit in our model. Social identity theory, social exchange theory, and AMO theory. And they have also provided us the relevant citations. 
Again, it's not a good idea to copy this literature review and paste in your thesis or research article. First, you should read all these given articles and then you can pick the relevant material and then paraphrase and only then you can use this material for your thesis or research article. If you find any of these articles helpful, you can save them to your library. By the way, this library option is really amazing. You can also opt to choose only those articles that are given in the library for writing your literature review. For instance, while giving the command here, I am writing the research question. In the filter option, you can only select my library. In this case, answer this.io will only use those articles that are given in the library. Here question may be arise in your mind if you are working on multiple projects. Can you create separate library for each project? The answer is yes. Here on this bucket list, you can see an option of projects. So it is always recommended whenever you are going to start a new research article or a project. So always use this option. In that case, every project will have a separate library. For writing literature review, I missed an important point that if you only want to use your own resources or PDFs, you can use them as well by using this option of upload PDF. In that case, this answer this .io will only use those PDFs that are uploaded by you for writing the literature review. I hope this video helped you to understand how can you use answer this .io for research and academic writing. Thanks for watching and let's meet in another video. Take care. Bye bye.